I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Now we will understand rotation about origin. So first we will derive a formula for the rotation about origin through an angle of theta for a given point P x y and then we will actually find the coordinates using our formula derived. So for that we have a question here which says determine the image of the point A 4 minus 3 after a rotation of 60 degrees about the origin. So let's first understand the basic concept. So we'll take a general point in coordinate 1. Let us say that the point is P x y. So let's take this point P whose coordinates are x y. So that really means that if this angle here is let us say alpha, in that case the horizontal component x is equal to r of cos alpha, right? Let us say this length here is r. In that case we can write that x is equal to r of cos alpha and y is equal to r of sin alpha. Now we want to rotate this point by let's say angle theta about the origin. That really means like this, right? So we want to rotate it about origin through an angle of theta. This is what we want to do. So when we do so, we have an image of this point P which could be written as P dash X dash Y dash. So that becomes the image of point P whose coordinates we need to find. Perfect. That's the whole idea. Now what is X dash equal to? X dash is equal to R of cos of alpha plus angle theta. And y dash will be equal to r of sine of angle alpha plus theta. Perfect. That is what it is going to be. Now we can actually find these points in terms of r cos alpha and r sine alpha by using the compound angle formula, which I am going to do now. So we'll just expand this, right? So we have x dash equals to r of, let's expand, we get cos alpha cos theta minus sine alpha sine theta, correct? On this side, we get y dash equals to r of sine a cos p, that is sine alpha cos theta plus cos alpha sine theta, perfect? That is what we get. Now, r times cos alpha, let me just uh, bring r inside. So we'll write x dash equals to r times cos alpha cos theta minus r times sine alpha sine theta, right? And on this side, we get y dash equals to r times sine alpha cos theta plus r times cos alpha sine theta. And what we know from equation 1, we can just name this as equation 1, that these terms r cos alpha and r sine alpha can be replaced by the original coordinates x and y. Right. So we can write this x dash as equal to r cos alpha is x, right? So it is x cos of theta minus and that is y sine of theta. As far as y dash is concerned it is equal to r sine alpha which can be replaced by y cos theta plus r cos alpha can be written as x sine theta. So we get our transformation right so so that is the transformation. So as far as the x coordinates goes, 
it becomes r cos theta minus y sin theta where theta is the angle through which the rotation about the origin takes place and the y coordinate is this correct so so that is how you get your transformation now we can use this transformation anytime with any given situation since x and y are general points taken in this particular system so i hope that makes sense right so now let's try to find the image of point A when it is rotated through an angle of 60 degrees. That means when theta is 60 degrees. So here is the question for you. Determine the image of the point A, 4 minus 3, after a rotation of 60 degrees about the origin. Right? So if you want, you can sketch uh, what you have. You are given a point A which is 4 minus 3. So somewhere in quadrant 4 you have a point, right? Now you are rotating this through an angle of 60 degrees. So that becomes your final position. So let's say these points are, we know A is 4 minus 3. And let's call this as A dash which is going to be, let's say, uh, x, y in this case. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what we learned was that the, let's call them x dash, y dash. Right. It'll be better. Since the formula we used x, right? So, so what we found was that x dash is equal to x of cos theta minus y of sine theta and the value of y dash is equal to x of sine theta plus y of cos theta. Correct? That is what we derived where theta is the angle of rotation, right, about the origin. In our case, we know the point A is 4 minus 3 and that really means that x cos theta is equal to 4 and y sine theta is equal to minus 3. Good. Now we are given a rotation of 60 degrees. So this total angle is 60 degrees. Since theta is equal to 60 degrees, we can actually use special triangle to find cos and sine theta values, right? So let me just sketch one here. The values are such taken that you could do half of it, most of it rather, without calculator, right? So for 60 degrees, the sides are 1, 2, square root 3, right? So in this triangle, you can see that cos of 60 degrees is equal to 1 over 2 and sine of 60 degrees is equal to square root 3 over 2. So these are the values which we have to use. So clearly, x dash we can now write as equals to, which is x cos theta, which is 4, right? So x dash is equals to 4, x value. In our case, uh, yeah, so the x coordinate value and times the cos theta, cos theta is half, which is half, right? Minus y, y is equal to, I mean, and the coordinates we are given, sorry, x as 4 and y as minus 3, 4 and minus 3, yeah. Um, so, so x cos theta will be 4 times half cos theta theta is 60 degrees, right? So let me now, because I created a confusion, let me write down again. We have x dash equals to x times cos of 60 degrees minus y times sine of 60 degrees, correct? So we are trying to calculate that now. So x dash cos of 60 degrees is half minus y values minus 3. So we'll write minus 3 and sine of 60 degrees square root 3 over 2. 
that is what it is so we could write this as half is or we can just do this as over 2 why it's better 4 and that becomes plus so 4 plus 3 square root 3 okay as far as y dash is concerned it is equal to x sine theta which is 60 degrees for us plus y cos theta which is theta is 60 degrees right theta is 60 degrees so y dash equals to the x value is uh, uh, 4 and sine of theta square root 3 over 2 plus y value of minus 3 and uh, the cosine value is half right so that gives you again we'll just keep 2 at such we'll not going to simplify this part this is simpler right 4 square root 3 minus 3 so that becomes the the y value so we get the point a dash as um, 4 plus 3 square root 3 over 2 and uh, y value is 4 square root 3 minus 3 by 2 right we can calculate it approximately so we have 4 plus 3 square root 3 divided by 2 in decimals is equal to 4 point you can say 6 as far as y value is concerned it is 4 square root 3 minus 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.96 let's say approximately 2.0 Right. So I'm routing 1.96 to 2.0, one decimal place. Right. So approximately, we could say these are the values for x dash and y dash. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. So that is how you should be doing it. So it's kind of simpler once you know the formula which we just derived. So it's related with the sine and cosine of the angle of rotation. And that's the formula you have to look for to get your answer. Feel free to share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. If you share my videos with your friends, that would be excellent. Thanks for watching and all the best.